don't stop. Oh, Lord, stop this living for a while. Go! Get out of here. Go home, dude. Where did that come from? I don't know. Where did that come from? Go home. That's so cool, dude. Great day to play. Great day to play. Great day to play, everybody. Welcome on in to the channel. <laughs> yeah. Whether it's your first time here or you are rejoining us, thank you for being here with us today. You are loved, appreciated, always welcome here in this channel, and you are enough today. Hey, oh boy, Philip released his EP. Lucas smells like butt. Haha, <laughs> you said Lucas smells like butt. <laughs> go ahead, keep going. <laughs> Bazinga. <laughs> Bazinga, anyway. Uh, so we're going to be going through uh, on the live and we're going to be doing uh, all of the rest of the songs from the EP. If you want to yep. listen to Rockstar, that one's already been out because we did that when that first came out. So we're going to be doing the next five. Starting with today is Superiority, mm. the official visualizer. And these will probably, if you're missing the live, will come out consecutively day after day after day after day mm -hmm. as soon as they're uh, all edited this week. But, uh, but here we go. Uh, we're going to listen. We're going to talk. We're going to jam. We're going to party. We're going to rock out. And uh, if you want to do those things with us next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can check out when our live streams are because this was a pop-up live stream on a Friday. Whoopsies. Crazy. And, Crazy. Uh, and yeah, make sure you're also, you know, following us on like Spotify, Apple, mm -hmm. Amazon, all those places because we got some SB19 mm -hmm. covers coming out very soon. We have a new EP coming out soon. There's so many things to do. But. What's that? Let's go. What? Psych, psych. Got him. Got him. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Huh. Mm. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Somebody somebody reached out to us on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. And um they they messaged, they like tagged us and they were like, you know, we don't like that you use the term super pop. Mm. Cuz it sounds kind of disrespectful because Too it bad. sounds funny. And and like and, and like respectfully, I'm just like, okay, I get that. But it's like we're not talking about it like it's like it's because it sounds dirty. It's supposed dirty. to be gritty. It's supposed to make you feel like this came from the ground up. It's yeah. got that raw feeling to it. And that's what, that's what hashtag, no, they, no, 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 they weren't a hater. And again, I'm not putting them a blast. So don't, no, 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 no. They just, they actually watch our stuff. And they're like, they really support us, but like, they just don't like that. And I can see that. Like, I knew that somebody was going to come out when we started saying sewer pop, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, of but course. But... It was hard. It was no different than like when they started calling grunge rock grunge, right? Like, right, right, right. it just, it's a feeling. It's a feeling. So we and mean that's... no disrespect. And it's, 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 it's a, it's a term of endearment and respect because it gives mm. us this feeling of, like bubbling up from underneath, like it's like crawling out from the sewers and has this it's, just raw, it's emotional. Coming from producers yeah. saying that it makes us get a feeling and a visual is a good thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it just is that. It's sewer pop. And that's what we're going to keep calling it. So it's it's going to be. But like this is like the antithesis of when this started. It was just like, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This is nuts. Dude. Hey, hey, yeah, I don't wanna be your kid. You lame as mm, lame as mm, kid. Stop pretending like me, kid. Stop pretending. You can't never be me, kid. Me. Now you can't reach this, now you can't reach that. I'm a pin this guy, yeah, I'm so, so fly. I'm a different kind, real single, fine. Put it to the side, eagle pride, no die. Now you get the dirt right, running sonic landing for some young stuff. Hey, I'll come like a sun. Dude. <laughs>
<laughs> I was wondering, like, where is this going? Ooh. I don't know if you and can see it. And it just got guys. dirtier. I don't know if you can see it. My hair is like standing Dude. straight up right now. This is dirty, dirty. <sighs> This is, in, this is kind of in the now too, like with underground stuff. Like, uh, like I'm, obviously he's not underground, yeah. but like this is that underground sound right now. The um, the remember I don't know I know if you have ever heard it. Have you heard that um, it's an American group, two dudes? They're called I believe they're called the Suicide Boys. It sounds really familiar to it, me. They have they have beats like this mm -hmm. sort of like a lot of white noise and a lot of just dark stuff, but they like scream bloody murder okay. over their stuff. Terrible, terrible, terrible lyrics, but. Um, but it's really in the now right now, like this underground, very dirty, dirty stuff. This honestly, this reminds me a lot, a lot. I think I said this when we did Rockstar as well. It's it's uh, Jack in the Box by J Hope. Like he came out and did this yeah. whole thing too, and like brought it was it was kind of like bringing that underground sound to the mainstream, right? Yeah. Like and and it was like Arson was like that. Like like three or four of the songs I felt like off that album because he had some of the lighter stuff on there, but mm -hmm. like were really just like down in the dirt and had that really that sewer pop yeah. sound. I mean, you know? this is like, this is like beyond. Just, yeah, it's you know so what I mean, cool, man. They, like the what they're doing with music like this is like they're playing kind of playing. They're not playing with much of melody anymore. It's no. just kind of just. Just sounds, just rhythmic sounds, and it, it kind of brings it back to the base of like what music is, just mm -hmm. different different rhythms. Yeah. You know? Well, know? and making a really, really good use of the fact that he can do this, right? right? Like that low, low vocal range. Again, it's not that other people couldn't, but you still, like he just has that perfect voice to be able to lend and, and give those sounds depth. And it's mm -hmm. just, man, very, very cool. Wow. Cool as me, you can't forget about it. Go. Get out of here. Go home, dude. Where did that come from? I don't know. Where did that come from? Go home. That's so cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like Lil Wayne just popped out of a box here. Yeah, in. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I wasn't expecting that, that. that. Yeah, it's not that he couldn't do it. Like I didn't think that he could do it because we remember the. I, I can't remember the song, but remember the one that was like really, really sexy. Like had those usher. Vibes. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I knew that he had it in him, right. but like I wasn't expecting it here. No, no, no. This was cool. Like he. Ooh. The song is like a. The song is we're just. It's like a dark maze where you keep running into different monsters. You know that's, what I mean? That's a really cool way of putting, it. and it kind of actually really fits the visualizer when you think about it, with like the the face coming off yeah. and like the. It's, yeah, like he keeps leading you into different places, and you're like, "Oh shit!" You know, like <laughs> that's the superiority monster, man. Yeah, that's what that is right there. Run that back real quick, just that part, dude. There's so much attitude in that too. Like, yeah. no way. Like, like it's just like the way he's throwing what his he's, voice on that. I know why. What he said, he, he said, I think he said something along the lines of, so cool, I'm trying to copy my own style. <laughs> it's like, all right, that's a bar. Like, <laughs> oh, dude. Sick. Dude, that's a way to open up an album, man. Yeah, 
Yeah. That's a way to open up. I love how he tied in the Roxa and Rapsa in that because that was like real heavy in the in in Roxa. Mm -hmm. But like that was. It was a mix of so many things. It was a mix of like the there was some like uh, the melodies from the bling mm -hmm. like that it felt like a part of a Drake album. And then there's the, all that just dirty, dirty, dirty stuff in the beginning. And like it's it, th this is a, the kind of track that doesn't sound like the project would be huge, but it's a huge but project. It's huge because like, of all the stuff that's going on in the background. Yeah, and all the and, switches. Yeah, yeah. It, it. This is one thing that I just love 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 so much about non-western music or like just non-western thought processing going into music because it's like most people just wouldn't wouldn't choose to go that route right yeah. they wouldn't choose to take that that leap because they don't they don't know maybe it might not work right but this is like already trending man like on all the charts it's already up there yeah right like dude take the leaps man because wow. you like here's the thing people are gonna have to start taking the leaps because yeah. the more and more the shit like like the vast majority of the song was in english yep. right so like people are gonna listen to it like it yep. doesn't have to and we, we talk about that all the time like the minute that you start or foreign artists start making more english music everybody here is in a lot of trouble because they're not afraid to take the leaps yeah they're they're so polished like, they to lose, like you know right and like it, it basically what it's gonna do is it's no different than like how it's been with production now like sometimes you and i I'm a, I feel like overlook at music now because we're so used to hearing these huge, huge soundscapes yeah. that it's like, we're always like, oh man, it needs, it needs, needs. it needs. Yeah, yeah. Because like, we're so used to that. Like even something like <clears throat> this, again, has such a huge soundscape in the back going on, mm -hmm. right? It makes other music sound kind of dull yeah. a little yeah, bit. Just... And so like the more that that happens though, and people, more and more people start listening, that's what's gonna happen with other music. They're yeah. gonna start being like, oh, there, there it's are, missing stuff. There are know? some artists, like a few, like Kendrick, <sighs> His stuff goes goes a lot of different places. He's very yeah. experimental, and people enjoy that about him. Uh, uh, Childish Gambino stuff can get yeah. kind of crazy too. Both of them though have already made it. Well, right, 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 right. Now I will say this: Kendrick has actually been making experimental stuff from the beginning, right? And that was kind of his brand. But most people that make experimental stuff from the beginning don't necessarily make it here. Yeah, he just did. He just happened to. Um, yeah. But like, yeah, like, but that's not the mainstream, right? right. That's not the mainstream, unfortunately. And wow, dang. Yeah, that was very cool. All right, what do you guys think? Jeez, that's not what you do. That's not what you I do. I want to give him a little ASMR at the end. Mm, mm. You don't want the ice ASMR? No. Why not? I don't like ice. Why? I got ice in my veins. Thank you for watching, everybody. <laughs> Seriously, they'll leave your comments down below. Let us know what you thought. Keep them coming. Uh, make sure that you're following us on all the other places too. Um, we have a huge presence on Twitter. We're really, really trying to use our Twitter Twitter presence to get some interviews with some of these artists. And uh, we're starting we're starting out with some. And uh, pretty soon, we're going to be reaching out to SB19 and doing some other stuff. But we need your guys' help to make it happen. We need you guys tagging us and, and, and piling on those tweets. So get over on Twitter if you're not already there. And uh, also check out our music on Spotify, Apple, and Amazon. Like, subscribe here. Do all the things. Do all the things. If nobody told you that they love you today, don't forget that we love you. You're appreciated. Always welcome here in this channel. And you are enough. And last but certainly not least. It was a great day to play. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.